Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create date parameters with calendar in SSRS report. We will be creating a report where we will have start date and end date and we can select the range of the dates and it will return us only those records which qualify according to the parameter. Now we will be creating a report with start date and end date. We will be providing some default values to those parameters as well and then finally we will be displaying the calendar now let me take you to the SSMS uh, SQL Survey Management Studio and here is my query so I'm selecting some first name last name product uh, name item sold region and sold data so this is the parameter what we uh, want to use we want to select uh, the records uh, from this table where we can say okay we're date between this date and this date so we are going to have two parameters now take the query this uh, uh, table is in the sales database so let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools and here we have already created the shared data source that's pointing to the sales database so we don't have to create a new one we are good if you don't know how to create it just right click and add a new data source and uh, that's how you will be creating a shared data source now click on the reports add new item and here we will be selecting a report that will be empty report and we will create from scratch or work on that one from a very basic so we'll call it date parameter report Hit add empty report will be created now let's go to the data sources and create embedded data source or use the shared one in our case we are going to use the shared one so we select the sales and let's provide some name ds sales and we are pointing to the sales data source that's shared and here we'll be going to the data set so add data set so data set is a result set or the records uh, returned by the query or a store procedure so we will be using embedded data set in this case and i'm going to call this one d set sale table or sales sale total sorry not table here is our query so just go ahead and paste your query first uh, we forgot to select the data source select the data source and now once uh, your query is here let's create the parameter so what we are going to do we are going to go to the where clause say where sold date uh, between at the rate start date and end date so that's the way we can create a range parameters so we are saying and sold date that's our column and then we are saying at the rate start date so in this case you can put anything maybe initial date or whatever the name you like maybe s date and here we have end and then we say at the rate end date so it's your choice whatever the name you want to give to this parameter now it is ready we can hit ok and Let's go and uh, grab the table here, go to insert and uh, get a table so we can display our records. Uh, let's get a salesperson first name, last name, product name and uh, sold uh, item sold and finally I, I would like to get the sold data so I can show you some information. Delete the column. Now we are good here. Let's click here and then bold it and give some color. Now our report is uh, almost ready but where there are a few things we need to take a look go to the preview and now the report is asking us okay provide me the start date and the end date so let me go to the table and take one start date in this case let's uh, take this one as a start date and then we will provide the end date as well so we can go ahead and provide the date here just paste it here and uh, then paste it here and we can change the value if you want and uh, let's uh, preview so we see some records are coming back whatever the range we, we can take a look here so anything between uh, uh, starting with the uh, 2015 March 3rd and uh, that's how we will see the records so I I don't know like really this information is coming uh, correct because see here so you have a uh, four uh, two that's uh, uh, your uh, between uh, so this you have March 3rd and 4 yeah that that's correct actually so this is a month and uh, this is a day 
and according to the American um, formats, I was kind of confused. Like uh, I, with the British and American, it's sometimes it's they, you know, they go with a different way. Anyways, uh, so this information is correct. Uh, so it is coming between start date and end date. All the records are, and we can verify them. But now here, sold date is also coming as a date time. That's not correct. Uh, first of all, uh, we don't have uh, a sold date with the time. Uh, so we have only with the date. Uh, so format for this field is not correct. Uh, so let's go to the design fix the sold date so at least we can see and go to the sorry here click here and go to the te text box properties go to the number and the date and select some uh, good format uh, for let's take this one so let's keep this one so we have month and uh, day and year so that will give us enough information now go to the parameters and uh, as you guys can see that if we preview still it is asking us uh, just a text and it is asking us okay provide me the value so once we paste the value there it is uh, going to work uh, let's let me paste this one here uh, one more time and uh, see the uh, we get the record here we can change this one to seven so to get more records we are all good here now it is a uh, coming in a uh, a date format instead of a date time but uh, this is kind of really hard uh, every time you have to paste the values here and uh, uh, that's not in a uh, really great uh, uh, format uh, most of the time when you book a flight or uh, you know even uh, uh, do anything you ha always have the calendars here and uh, you can drop select the, the uh, use the drop downs uh, from that calendar and select the dates uh, but in this case uh, our parameters are not uh, the date time they are uh, as a text so let me go to the start uh, first is start date right click here parameter properties uh, and we can go and take a look uh, right now the data type for uh, these uh, parameter is, uh, is uh, text uh, so let's go ahead and change to the date time uh, once we change that uh, now we are good here let's go to the date uh, end date and change the same thing from text to the date time hit ok now let's preview the report uh, now you guys can see that a small calendar is showing up uh, right here so we can select the dates uh, it's uh, pretty cool uh, to see that but uh, uh, as we have uh, we have to provide the range uh, of the values uh, so i'm going to go ahead and change the range so we can see some records and here if you see that i pasted uh, my values like this uh, so i have year and month and uh, date uh, day and uh, here we have a uh, month day and year so when i click uh, here on the preview view report uh, it automatically translated uh, to this format uh, so that's fine doesn't really matter for me uh, whatever the place i will put it uh, this is the format it accept uh, and uh, one thing we have it here we have the drop down uh, and we can take a look and change uh, uh, from this uh, calendar now let's go and provide the default values let's say i want to start with the first day of the year always and end the records as of today so as, uh, in the starting when somebody display the report or preview the report they should be getting from the start of the year and today's um, whatever the date today so i'm going to start with the 1115 uh, and let me show you two things to how to do it so let's go to the start first start date parameter properties go to the default values uh, and here we can say specify values so uh, go to the add and then uh, here you you can simply write uh, uh, this way uh, one one it will take as this format or you can always uh, do one one to the 2015 uh, that's another way to do it and uh, you can you're good now let's click preview and you will see 1 1 2015 is selected automatically and we don't have end date so we can go ahead and select the end date and preview the report but it would be much better if we will have the end date here right so this way we, i'm going to go to the end date right click parameter properties and go to default values and specify value here hit add and now go to the fx so instead of uh, uh, hard coding here i'm going to use a function called today and that should return us the today's date so hit ok now we are good preview the report and as you can see that uh, now it started on the very first day of the year and uh, whatever the date we have here till uh, as of today it is uh, returning us uh, all those uh, records now let me go back one more time and show you here in the start date uh, what i did uh, i was just uh, i hard coded so even in this in the when i hard coded i didn't put in this format but it took in this format and also including the time but that's i don't know i don't care about that but this part will be used in the query and uh, that's how our results will uh, uh, 
uh, return or will be showed according to the date whatever it is shown here not the time part of now if I click FX so this is what we see here also I want to show you uh, as I did the today that was taken to today's so we can go to the common functions and we have a date time functions here so you can add you can have different things you can have a, a date add a date diff a date uh, you know uh, date part and all that so you can build uh, your own data from here let's say if i want to start from last day of the month so i can write the expressions here or if i want to go okay today minus uh, uh, i want to subtract something out of this so i can use a date part and uh, date add or date diff uh, and uh, even uh, you know uh, use these functions and build my value for the parameter so it's your choice whatever you want to use it you have all those functions here we have now we have uh, today's uh, and everything is uh, available right here so you can use uh, and build your expressions uh, for the default values uh. so hit ok and now we preview it now by default it is taken the value what we have provided and if we want to change it uh, once we have it we can always go ahead and uh, change the value and preview the report uh, again so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in the next video